Welcome to this episode of Brews for the Brunettes. My name is Ryan. I'm Jake. And we're the Knights of the Brew Table. Who? Today, on this episode, we're trying another Ama Gang. Um, the fuck is this shit? It's a Ama Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. Take the Black Style. This is going to be a stout and a much darker beer. You want to tell them some shit about I'll that? I'll give them some shit about this one. Give them some knowledge. Is, uh, 7% uh, Game of Thrones. Take the Black Stout, in case you didn't hear that before. It's a stout as dark as the winters that once engulfed West Arrows. That's really fucking dark, man. Dude. Chocolate and caramel sweetness are balanced by hot bitterness. Roasty, woodsy notes, and an earthy finish, which they do tell us to pour slowly to not disturb yeast sediment. Again, wait, were you saying about that uh, anise and licorice? Yeah. Uh, Ale brewed with star, anise, and licorice root. Please, no, not in here. <laughs> <laughs> the lights! Oh, well, that's a nice that's dark. dark stout, too. Like coffee. With a stout, you definitely. I usually you pour pretty hard with a stout. That's kind of weird that they say pour slowly to not. Who fucking cares about yeast sediment? Definitely pick up that licorice. I'm definitely. Smell. Think of licorice and uh, and any stout. I swear I, I smell caramel in every stout I ever yeah. had. Yeah, well, just I think really, that's I think that's the go-to when it comes to a stout. I think when you roast it. All right, so all right, we got the smells and stuff down. Let's uh let's go ahead and give it a try. Brew nights. We wow. Might, we might be drinking this one way too cold. It is a stout. Super smoky. That doesn't smell, it doesn't taste like no 7%. That tastes like 9, 10%. Yeah, this Seriously. is like the absinthe of beer here. This one says, yeah, cause best it, served at 50 degrees. Yeah, a little bit hot. I knew this one needed to be a little bit more warm. because. I think I'm going to give it another try now. Let's give it another sip. I definitely think more flavors came out. I still think it's maybe not cold enough. Or not warm enough, I'm sorry. I definitely smell the licorice more than I taste it. I, I, all I can really taste now that I now that you mentioned it is like that that burnt caramel. I still don't think it's quite at the temperature it needs to be at yet. Let's pause the video. Let it warm down a little bit. Yeah. All right. So we waited about ten minutes or so. Let it cool down, or let it let it warm, warm up. up. See if maybe some of those flavors will come back. Oh out. yeah, it's definitely a lot warmer in the palm now. But I definitely have a feeling that it's going to be a little more complex now. Bottoms up, Ryan. It did mature a bit. Have you ever had, like, smoked oysters out of the tin? No. I, I've had oysters, and I probably have. I don't Like, out of a tin, yeah. There's there's no other way to describe, like, it's it's just, like, artificial smoky. It's, it's kind of a disappointment, really. The flavor definitely matured, though. It definitely developed a richer caramel burn sugar... Yeah, that type deal. I'm still gonna stick to my guns and give it a three. I mean, I, exactly. I don't think I don't think that uh, we should give it much more than that. It's a good beer, but like like he said, it's very very artificial tasting. I think the Blom was much much better. Yeah, the Blom is the way to go with the Game of Thrones. But yeah, we this is the the experience us letting a beer sit for a while. We the came first back time. for the revisit. Came back for the revisit, and uh, thank you for watching this episode of Brews the Brunettes, guys. My name is Ryan. I've been Jake. We are the Knights of the Brew Table. Who? Have a wonderful day, please. Thanks for watching, guys. I poured as hard as I poured apple juice. Apple juice. Can I have some apple juice? Fuck you, Chris. Fuck you, Chris.